Hi, I'm Mark Barsamian. In this video, I'll be discussing finding the second derivative of a function. This material is from section 4.2 of the book. But more specifically, the concepts in this video are scattered throughout section 4.2, and there's no specific book example similar to the examples in this video. Your homework corresponding to this video is this short assignment of two problems from section 4.2. Now, from the previous video, we were introduced to the definition of the second derivative of a function. It's denoted this way, f double prime of x, or d squared dx squared of f of x. And what it means is, f double prime of x is the derivative of f prime of x. In other words, the derivative of the derivative of f of x. So we'll just do three short examples. In the first example, we're supposed to find the second derivative of this function f of x. Well, to do that, we have to first find f prime. And then find f double prime by taking the derivative of f prime. So we find that f double prime is minus 6x plus 4. Let's go on. In the second example, we're supposed to find g double prime for this given function g of x. So the result is that g prime is 12x to the negative 3 minus 36x to the negative 4. Notice that I included this step where I did not do the arithmetic in my head. I wrote down on the paper what arithmetic was going to happen. I used the power rule. The power rule says that I'm going to build these new exponents. But I didn't do that in my head, uh, at least not right away. I wrote down the calculations that I was going to do. So that's just g prime. Let's find g double prime. So there's g double prime. Notice that uh, we were given a function in power function form. So that form is convenient for finding the derivative. And we found the derivative and the second derivative using that power function form. And we ended up with this result, g double prime in power function form. But remember, in this course, I always like you to leave your final answers in positive exponent form. So for the final answer, we converted to positive exponent form. g double prime is that. It's one more example. Find d squared y dx squared for y equals this mess. Well, notice that that function is given in positive exponent form and radical form. So before finding the derivative, we need to convert to power function form. Notice that I did the conversion in two steps. In the first step, I simply separated the constants from the stuff involving the variables. And then in the second step, I dealt with converting to power functions. Now we're ready to find the derivative. So we get dy dx, and it's in power function form, which is fine, because we're going to take the derivative again. So we'll just leave it in that form. So notice that I don't do the exponent calculations in my head, or not right off the bat. I write down what the exponent calculations are going to be. Now in the next step, I'll do those calculations. So there's our answer in power function form. Now we need to convert to positive exponent form. So there's our answer. 
Notice there's a lot of steps in a problem like this. Uh, converting to the, the appropriate form, doing it carefully. Uh, the, the underlying math is fairly simple, but there are lots of steps. So there are lots of possibilities for making mistakes. So even though in some sense the problems are very straightforward, uh, don't be surprised if you find it difficult to get these uh, correct. Uh, there are so many steps that, that all have to be correct. All right, that's the end of that example. That's the end of the video. Thank you.